fan page. I'm going to be asking Paul a few questions. We're here on the Riptide 2. It's 2, right? Not yes, it's 2. Uh, and, um, all right. Paul. Yes, sir. You are a, an alum, an alumnus yes, I of am. Uh, Six Dog, yes? Indeed, yes. All right. Um, how would you best summarize your time with Six Dog? Summarize my Definitely very interesting, you know, practicing in the uh, dungeon there in Bayard. Uh, you know, we had some good shows, especially the CBGB shows. Loved it. You know, uh, I had my moments, uh, you know, things got a little crazy here and there, but otherwise, copacetic, my friend. Very cool, very cool. So, uh, what show do you remember the most? As I said, as I said, uh, definitely CBGB show, second show, man. We play great, man. Not too many people, but you know, a few guys on there, you know, especially this one older dude, man, looked like an old school rocker. He appreciated the, the music, so we, uh... Alright, Paul, if you're looking behind you, you'll see the United Nations. Fascist. Uh, Good for nothing, man. Just part of the conspiracy, man, you know, ready to uh, release the soldiers to take, uh, take care of us and uh, bring us to the camps, man, on, on FEMA's orders. Yes. Uh, I have a key, because I might not hear me on that right. All right. What instrument did I play? I played the bass, man. Four string bass, man. Uh, what kind of bass did you use? Ah, I used some crappy bass. It was a Lotus. Well, you know what? It worked, man. It did the job. Well, Buddha was on, uh, you know, a budget. Did you collaborate with some of the songwriting? Uh, yeah, here and there, yeah. Definitely, uh, Can't See Tomorrow, that's my, my gem right there. Yeah. But yeah, I did help out here and there. And, um, what's your favorite song? <laughs> well, let me see, well, not, not to, you know, boost my ego, but of course, my, my own, Can't See Tomorrow. But, I did love the drain, man, drain. Drain? Drain, son. Right before that? Yeah. Do you remember the name of that place? Oh, jeez. You know, I don't recall at the, at the moment, but I do recall was that... Uh, was it Yeah, no, no. Was it McSorley's? No. Before that? No, it wasn't McSorley's. But I, but I do recall that uh, I was accosted by some certain gentleman. He was, uh, you know, agitating me, you know, and uh, lucky for him, you know, even though I was uh, pretty, uh, you know, inebriated, you know, I didn't take off his face right there and uh, show it to him. Settle down now, settle down. All right, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I mean, I mean, it was it was a, a night of frivolity. You know, uh, we had some, uh, you know, changed some words, but things were okay. I'm a forgiving man. Now, um, with the uh, with the American mud. Yes. TV, yes. What do you remember most about the recording session? Woo! Long, man, long and tiring, but you know what? It was fun, though. And it was worth it in there, man. You know, Tarek was there, man. He he was good, man. He 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 helped us out, you know, in certain things. He let us do our thing, and you know, told us, you know, we need a little touch-ups here and there. But it was good, good guy to work with, man. You know, to 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 make that demo, make it happen. Did Tarek engineer the tape? Yes, and then uh, was mastered at uh, Granger uh, Masterworks, as far as I know. Now, if uh, I am correct on the name. Now, as you may know, Six Dogs had quite a few lineups. Which was your favorite lineup? Who did you feel that uh, <laughs> was the most cohesive lineup? The one that you uh, melded well, with? Well, you know, I'm, I mean, the only one lineup I had was uh, me, Yeti, Old Scratch, and uh, the Monsignor. I miss the Monsignor. That was my man right there. Well, you were there when the pup was in. Uh, yeah, I was there with the pup, but, you know, he was okay, man. You know, I got to say, we did our thing, but, you know, I think he was on a different level there, maybe, you know. Or just not within our level, I should say. They went through a few different guitars. Yes, yes, Is true. Any, uh, oh, and I did uh, did get to play when I came back from Vegas. I did get to play with uh, with James there. And, uh, you know, he was good. I liked playing with James. You know, he, he, he let me do my thing. You know, I was a little, I was a little slack. But, you know, 
he, uh, he he was calm and and, uh, and peaceful and uh, you know patient with me until I learned all the newer songs. Anything you'd like to see for Six Dogs future? Well, just some gigs, man. You know, some gigs, man. You know, here and there. Hopefully, uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, the people like it, man. The, you know, maybe this is our time to shine. Who knows? You and us all, Paul. All right, all right. Thank you. From thank your you. your mouth to the dog cycles ears. I hope everything works out. I hope so Paul, too. We'll see. Six Dog fan page. All right. Signing off, Paul Glamaris, uh, former bassist for Six Dog. Uh, thank you, Paul, for your time. You're welcome. You're welcome. Right. And, uh, well, we hope to see you at some shows, man. Maybe, well, uh, let's maybe see. get a, like, a little reunion thing going. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, man. I'm going to work on it. I'm thinking about it. You know, we'll see. All right, man. Thank you. To see what you're getting at. So please, release. Can't keep coming back. Map got away. Find me another day. What did I say? Time takes it all away. Woke up this morning, heard you yawning, life is dawning. It seems to me you cannot see the run another frequency. Check yourself, you feel what I have felt to you.